our body is continually active in maintaining homeostasis. Homeostasis is the steady state condition that is necessary for the cells and organs to perform their function properly. To maintain homeostasis, the body tends to neutralize all kinds of changes that take place. For instance, pH regulation. As soon as we eat something acidic, it is quickly neutralized to carry on normal functioning of all the cells. Cells are a basic unit of life. Proper functioning of every single cell is important for proper functioning of the whole organ system. The changes I was just talking about also affect the cell's environment and functional components. Cells oppose these changes to maintain the homeostasis. For this, they have evolved certain mechanisms to respond to these changes, known as the adaptations or cellular responses to stress. These can be reversible changes in size, number, metabolic activity, phenotype, or function of the cell in response to stress. So in our today's lecture, we will talk about these changes and how cells respond to stress or noxious stimuli. Stress here means any abnormal condition or state that disturbs the normal functioning of the body. It can be physiological or pathological. Physiological stress means disturbing the body's normal internal state. For example, starvation, hemorrhage, extreme hot or cold. Pathological stress means some infection or inflammation caused by pathogenic organism. You can take physiological stress as the good stress, as it is for the improvement of the body functions, and pathological stress as the bad stress, as it may be prolonged and can lead to cellular injury. Whether it is physiological or pathological, the brain always takes it as a threat and sends quick signal to initiate the response. Like stress, there are physiological adaptations and pathological adaptations. Physiological adaptations are in response to normal stimulation by hormones, enzymes, etc. Pathological adaptations are for pathological stress. Principally, there are four types of adaptations. Hypertrophy, hyperplasia, atrophy, and metaplasia. You can remember them by mnemonic. All men have hair. Where A is for atrophy, M for metaplasia, H for hyperplasia, and another H for hypertrophy. These mechanisms can fight against external stress, but up to a certain limit. When this limit exceeds or if the stress is highly noxious, the cell injury occurs. Now, cell injury can be reversible and irreversible. Irreversible injury leads to the cell death. Take the example of heart muscles during hypertension. See the muscles in the normal heart and the one with the stress of hypertension. To deal with the stress or increased load, the myocyte increase in size. But when this condition persists, the myocyte can be injured or lead to cell death causing heart failure. Now let's elaborate this example in next section of hypertrophy.